So by the end of this week, 17 million children across the country will likely be able to roll up their sleeves for the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. The FDA granted emergency use authorization and the next check on the system is the CDC advisory committee going through the data. So that committee meets tomorrow. They are expected to give the green light. So that means that the state's Department of Health and Human Services will then likely tell providers across North Carolina to start giving the vaccine to 12 to 15 year olds. Experts say this could be key in making schools safer and helping to get our community back to what essentially we know is normal. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live for us at Atrium Health in Dilworth. So Chloe, essentially it sounds like these vaccines could be given to our teens by Thursday morning, right? Yeah, Vanessa, that's what vaccine providers in our area are planning for. But we know that parents have a lot of questions and some of them are hesitant. It's the protection many parents and grandparents have been waiting for. So I want to see them and I want to hold them and I want to love on them. The FDA giving the green light for 12 to 15 year olds to get the Pfizer vaccine. The CDC's advisory panel meets on Wednesday and vaccines could be given to adolescents by Thursday, but not everyone is rushing to make an appointment. Just waiting to see with the kids. I think the teachers being vaccinated is great, but with the kids, you never know how they're going to react. Vaccine providers still working to overcome hesitancy and hoping to help families make an educated decision. That's a decision that comes down to every family member individually, but we feel really confident that based on current knowledge, um, the vaccine is actually safer for children to experience uh, than uh, the potential risk of getting the infection. Some of the pediatric trials were done in North Carolina at Duke. This age group gets the same dosage as adults and in the trials, many experienced the same side effects. Experts say the vaccine is doing its job. Of the children who uh, in the trial who ultimately had a COVID infection, um, all of them were in the placebo group. Uh, and none were in the vaccine group. So if you got the vaccine in this trial, you did not get COVID. That translates to a vaccine that has 100% efficacy. Now for this age group, we probably won't see big mass clinics like we did for adults. We'll see some smaller, more kid friendly events. Now Novant Health is actually doing a pilot program where they have those vaccines in some of the doctor's offices, but because of the storage requirements, we probably won't see that across the board for most uh, primary care offices in our area. For now, live in Dilworth, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.